So I got up here and I stopped my truck because of this. And uh, so I'm not going to be able to make it up the hill. But to make it worse, the truck doesn't want to start now. So I know I'm officially stranded. Hopefully I can turn around. I should be able to do a three point turn, but almost here to the top. And uh, the St. Peter, the truck here, starter died. As soon as I turned it off, it died. So now I need a new starter. But on top of that, the truck's on full load. See how low it is? It's got all of these. And I can't drive home with these, so I have to get down in time to return this and this. So, it looks like there's enough space here that I could probably back this up right in here between these two rocks. Straight like that, and then go like that and drive home. But the cop's going to come up that way. State trooper is going to come up and bail me out again. I have jumper cables in here. I do have jumper cables in here, right there. See them? Jumper cables. So I'm gonna have to turn around and go home. No birthday weekend trip. Today is literally my birthday. <laughs> and uh, it's August. <clears throat> and this is, uh, this is what my birthday is going. It's an adventure. It's probably one of the most unique Minuteman Mountain videos ever, okay? On my 44th birthday, I killed the copperhead snake. On the 45th, wasn't too much. On the 46th birthday of the Minuteman Mountain guy, <laughs> tree down. To top it off, the truck won't start. It tick, 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 tick. Every time I start it up, it's like a eh, 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 eh. So you're sure it's a and not a Yes, it's definitely a Every time I let off the gas, it makes this kind of a Like that. Just like that. It kind of sounds like this. Is that noise serious or just a simple fix? Radiator leak. You may not be able to tell, but the experts at Amco sure can. So a state trooper is going to come up and give me a jump and hopefully ground guide me so I can do a three-point turn because I still have a full load of pavers. Let me show you. As you see, I have a full load of pavers. The truck is sitting nice and low. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of, I have to go very slow to make sure I don't bottom out. I'm going to back up. I'm going to show you. Let's see. So I should be able to back up like this. Okay, and then I'll be able to come up and back and then be able to go down. So I should be able to back up there, hopefully without bottoming out. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, I'm wearing my new camos. These are the same ones from before. The, uh, what are they called? Poof. Clip it in, right? Um, so, I don't have a chance to get them dirty. Just going to back up to a three-pointer. And the next thing you see is when the cops coming up to save my butt. Pepperoni roll 
with the chicken strip in it. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. It would have been a good birthday if it wasn't for that damn tree. <laughs> You know, when you think about it, you know, your vehicle breaks down. We rely on our vehicles and stuff like that. Kind of leaves you unprepared. This is the second time. It was a rental. The battery died. And last time I said I was going to get one of those small charger packs to keep it in the truck just in case. And here we are just in case. Huh. The truck's old. It's 10 years old. So, got 180,000 miles on it. It needs one of those charger thingies. So I'm going to return the pavers and take that money and buy a battery charger. <clears throat> I'll just go home, play video games. It is what it is. So pretty out here though, it stopped raining. I can't imagine what this would have been like if it was in the rain. Or if I was on the other side of that down tree, if I was stuck on top of the mountain. How would I get back down? I gotta buy a chainsaw. A big one. Not that little one. Gas powered. Big chainsaw. Let's be done with it. I've seen people chop it right on the ground. So. Yep, you can return the pavers and start shopping for a battery charger to keep in the truck and whatever truck I have next, it's a good tool to have. And then go start shopping for a real chainsaw <coughs> for stuff like this. So it is a good birthday, I learned two lessons. Mm -hmm. Roll with the punches. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. How the hell are we supposed to know what kind you of improvise, t-shirt? improvise, you overcome, you adapt. State trooper can't come and pick me up, but my friend and neighbor, um, and YouTube subscriber <laughs> is coming to bail me out. So I don't know if he's going to let me put him on camera or not, but, uh, if he does, you'll get to meet him. And if not, shout out to you, 
the anonymous man that come and saved my butt up here on the mountain stuck behind this downed tree. It's a big ass tree. Got my cables out, waiting for him to come up that road and save me. Mm, yay! Ah, thank you! Yay! I can hear him now. Look how fast they come up here with the Jeep. I need a Jeep. The bridge is all clean from the water rushing over it and washing it off. Luckily it didn't wash out, but it got washed clean. It feels dented now. Ugh. It just goes to show how nice country folk are out here in the country. <clears throat> Cops couldn't come and save me. I was going to give them props. You know, I'm a strong supporter of the boys in blue but when you're stuck on a mountain road nothing like some good old country folk coming to save you yep. they have everything that you need figured it out I gotta jump <clears throat> the Jeep that came the guy that was rent that drove the Jeep came out and as uh, soon as he stopped he blew a hose What's up with my birthday? He blew a hose. Okay. So, um, behind him, my neighbor, who whose trail cam took, uh, caught my picture right there. Okay. I'm going to put the picture right there. Uh, that neighbor came, was right behind, because I texted him first, but I didn't get a response. Was right behind the Jeep neighbor. And, um, Luckily, because um, I had a roll of Gorilla Tape, so I gave the Jeep guy Gorilla Tape, and he coasted down and taped it up, and is now adding water to his, uh, from the creek, adding water to his radiator so he can get his truck home, his Jeep home. And behind him, the other neighbor uh, jumped me and said that it's not the starter, the click, 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 because he obviously knows more about vehicles than I do. I don't know very much. I know a little bit, but not very much. And so it's either the alt, not the alternate, yeah, the alternator? Yes, the alternator, not charging my battery, or the battery. Anyway, so heading back home, and uh, I'm just gonna call it, call it quiz. Happy birthday to me. When I get home, I'll, uh, I'll drink some Jameson. And um, play some video games. Thanks for watching. Remember to share, like, and subscribe. This is Minuteman Mountain signing off, reminding you to stay ready on Eddie Potter. You are watching Minuteman Mountain on YouTube. Thank you to all my subscribers that helped me reach that thousand subscriber goal. If you haven't subscribed yet, well then subscribe. But the best way to support Minuteman Mountain is to get your Minuteman Mountain binge on. There is a plethora of mini series that you can binge underneath my playlist. So click view channel then my playlist and simply choose one, there's a lot. From gear reviews to camp builds to how to be a modern day Minuteman and more. Even Wildling the Cat has her own mini series. So click the subscribe button and share my videos with